Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. These days, many anglers practice catch and release. When it's time to keep a few, selective harvest is the way to go. Because one male can mate with several females, it's best to retain a higher percentage of these. Knowing the difference can be a challenge. Trout and salmon are the easiest to separate. Mature males invariably have larger, longer heads with varying degrees of hooked jaws. Full-bodied females have noticeably smaller, blunt heads. At the same age, male perch are smaller and more slender than big, heavyset females. Less palatable spawners like this are best released to procreate the species. The same goes for walleye and pike. Mandatory slot size restrictions protect spawning class females while prompting the harvest of males. Panfish, like bluegills, pumpkin seeds, and crappie, are a bit tougher to sex. Mature males are slightly darker and more colorful. Most have a distinct hump or shouldered look behind the head. Bass are undoubtedly the most difficult to separate. Subtle differences exist that even biologists can stumble on. When in doubt, better to be safe than sorry. And when it comes to trophies, a good photograph or fiberglass reproduction will ensure big fish for the future. Since the first stocking in 1966 by the state of Michigan, the Great Lakes region has grown into a world-class trout and salmon fishery. Because open seasons and possession limits vary, proper identification is important. Once they enter feeder streams, overall coloration may help, but anatomical features are more reliable. Atlantic salmon and brown trout cause the most confusion. Atlantics have irregularly shaped X-like spots and wide tails with a pronounced indentation or fork. Browns have squared off tails with no forking and much rounder spots. Coho salmon are often mistaken for rainbow trout, also known as steelhead. This is most prevalent when both are silver. Once they color up prior to spawning, there is little confusion. In all phases, cohos only bear a few spots on the upper portion of the tail. As well, they have some gray or black on the inside of the mouth. Steelhead always have pure white mouths and heavily spotted tails. Chinook salmon are easily separated from others by a noticeably elongated anal fin. With 15 to 17 rays, heavy spotting, and black mouths are other giveaways. When in doubt, always refer to local angling regulations that list these and other criteria.